guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck, and this is my weekly reading update for January 21st, 2018. So I'm just kind of going to go through what I read, what I'm currently reading, and what I hope to read in the next week. So I finished um, on Sunday of last week, uh, The Last Wish by um, Andre Sapowski. This is the first book of the Witcher series. I'm currently um, reading that along with people from that are following um, Elliot Brooks in her uh, read along this year on The Witcher. Um, I decided I had the first book, so I picked it up and tried it. Um, not my favorite style of thing, except I loved the world. Like so, The Witcher world and the creatures and uh, the things he happens to him, I really enjoyed. I didn't really kind of care for some of these uh, stories. Like they were like little snippets of his life. And I guess it was just kind of, it was weird for me to uh, be introduced to a, a, or to a character or a story in a short story format. And it's, again, I'm not a big short story fan. So it was really kind of hard for me. So I didn't quite like that, but I really liked um, the Witcher himself and some of his companions or friends that he meets along the way. So I am looking forward to reading the next book. Um, I'm probably going to continue on at least in the February to read, um, I think it's Blood of Elves, I think is the, the next book. So I'm probably going to do that. But well, I didn't really care for this. There's there's a lot of weird little uh, twists on fairy tales in this. I thought that was really bizarre and I did not know that going in. Um, it was just, uh, it was a weird book. Um, I didn't, as I said, I enjoyed the fantasy part of it. But uh, it was just um, not my, not my formatting for a fantasy thing. So I'm hoping that the next book is better for me. We'll see what happens. Um, so after I finished that, I picked up Meet Your Baker by Ellie Alexander. This is the first book in the Bake Shop mystery, cozy mystery series. Um, I picked this up because Cortagonist has a, a new um, cozy mystery um, book club. And this is the first, this is the January book. So I found it and I picked it up to try it. I, have, I read cozy mysteries, just not very often anymore. Um, I go through phases with mysteries. So it was kind of fun to pick up something. I liked it because it took place in Ashland, Oregon and talked about the Shakespearean Festival. And it was just kind of neat. And of course it's in a bake shop, so <laughs> they're talking about food the whole time. That was that was funny. Anyway, no, and then there's, of course they had the recipes in the back and stuff. Anyway, um, overall, I really enjoyed this. I did not guess the murderer, so I think that's good. I'm not saying I'm perfect at these. I'm just saying, you know, that to me that's always a good sign when at least I was questioning it all the way up to near the end. Um, it did show one of my pet peeves, uh, first person um, narratives um, or POVs, um, where they do that whole, they, they always, it knocks me out of the story when they do their little, hey, if I had known, or, um, well, I didn't know that then, but this could happen, or, you know, or this was going to happen, or something, you know, like, you know how they, I just, I cannot stand those. And there was like at least two or three chapters where it ended like that, like, well, that's not going to happen because, you know, but. I just didn't like that. I never do. I, I find that um, in first person, um, it throws me out of the out of it. I know that a first person narrative technically is a past, you know, in past tense, you know, so yeah, the, they know what's going to happen, but I don't like those hints. They, I've never liked those and I still don't. But that would, I would say that was like my major pet peeve with this one, but that was a little thing. Mostly overall, it was a really fun read and um, I will probably continue with that series. Um, the next book I picked up was for another uh, book club here on uh, Booktube and, and Goodreads, and that's A Golden Age by uh, Tamina Anam. And I picked this up because of Mel Bookland, Mooks, Mel's Bookland Adventures, um, her Read Around the World um, club. Now, I... <laughs> I don't seem to be having very good luck with these. It's pretty funny. Anyway, so I picked this up and um, it's about uh, Bangladesh. So it's about a woman, uh, Rihanna, and her her um, older teenage children and them dealing with in 1971 um, as uh, Bangladesh um, has a war for independence. And uh, I really enjoyed the beginning of this. I really got caught up into it and I read the first part really fast. But then about the middle, it started to get slow. And then she started doing, the main character, Rihanna, started doing things that I'm like, what? And then there's kind of this 
maybe a love interest, maybe not kind of thing that I was like, eh, I'm not really, I'm not really big on that one. I don't really want that. And then, uh, there was a, a, a plot point that I, about something that she did in the beginning that we don't know about. We're just always hinted about it. And then, um, you know, it's kind of this mysterious thing that she did to get some money. And, uh, well, by the point, the point where I DNF'd, which is around 157, she, t it explains what happens. And I'm just like, that's it. And why did you do that? And you kind of, I had all these questions, like I didn't care anymore. Like I got, she upset me. It just, I don't know. I was just, I, I guess I just got tired and, uh, or of, of, I didn't want to deal with it. So I DNF'd, sorry, not going to finish it. I just, there's too many other books and, um, you know, is that I read that really fast. The first, that first section just, I got to the middle and then it just got, got slow and then I didn't enjoy it anymore. Um, so then I decided to pick up my <laughs> neglected library book, the one I left for the very end, cause it was the one I was anticipating the most, which sounds really stupid that I would do that. But I got all the other ones done and out of the way last week or the week before, you know, so I had uh, time and I didn't have to worry about, you know, that I was going to not get anything done. So I got to the will to battle by Ada Palmer. And I really enjoyed this book. This is book three in the Terra Ignata series by her. Um, again, two like the lightning and seven surrenders are the other two books. Um, and if you've watched my channel at all, you know that I love seven surrenders. It was one of my favorite books of the year. Um, so I was really excited to get this book and, um, I, I still, I'm so glad that I got to read it. I really enjoyed it. It didn't go any way that I thought it would. So that's great. This was still surprising. I don't think I liked it as well as Seven Surrenders. I don't think the twists were quite as good, but I don't, I can't falter for that because I think, um, book four, which I think is going to be the end of the series. I think that one's going to be the twisty turny one. So I think it's going to be like, you know, two like the lightning was, I still liked it, but it wasn't everything I wanted. And then Seven Surrenders was just fantastic and wonderful. And then this one kind of back on that, uh, to like the lightning part. So for me, it was just kind of like building up for the next section, I think. And I, I think they're kind of more like two books and you know, like, I, you know, I don't know. It's just, how to say that. So like they're two book section or duologies put to, I don't know. It's a four book thing anyway, I think at least at this point. So anyway, but I loved this book. It was really good, um, especially if you've read Two Like the Lightning and if you have not continued on, you need to read Seven Surrenders, first of all, and then you need to read this. I just think they're really good. I know that in the future, it's gonna be a reread for me. I'm gonna read all three books probably before the next book comes out just because there are so many little details and she does not like give you little, like she doesn't tell you like, hey, well remember that this and this, no, she expects you to remember. And I, I find that a very intelligent author. And I just have to, I'll have to reread these when um, we get closer to the next book's release. Because by the time I get there, I won't remember all the little details. And I, I really want to enjoy this. Um, and I know I will. And again, this is a utopian, dystopian book about 300 years in the future where governments are different now. They're broken up into what are called hives. And everybody kind of joins a hive once they're of age or they join their hiveless and they don't, but, um, most people do. And, um, they, um, the, these hives are like the, the governments of the world. There's no longer like, you're not from a certain country. You're usually from a hive or you're hiveless or a different, uh, there's several different hiveless anyway, but there's a lot of, it's, just, it's uh, it's just hard to explain, but th th there are people who have, kind of gotten relaxed about, you know, how, how life is all going mostly well, and they don't realize what's going on behind the scenes with the governments and things. And I just, I think I'm not a huge, I would not say I read a lot of political science fiction or and that kind of stuff. I don't think that's usually the ones I usually gravitate for, but for some reason, this series just connected with me and I, I love this series. So I would recommend this if you don't mind, uh, it being real, a lot of, uh, philosophy and government stuff. I just, I think it's, I just, I think it's just, it's a gorgeous series. Anyway, I'm so glad I got to, I got to finish that. Now I'll just have to wait for the paperback to come out so I can buy one to go with my collection. Okay. So those are all the books that I've read this week. So I finished, uh, 
the will to battle last night before bed I was all excited because I finished because <laughs> I was afraid I'd have to go into Sunday to finish that but anyway so I finished that so now let me talk about a couple books that I'm in the middle of reading um I'm still reading Genoble Prayer by um Silvana Elekovic and I'm still really enjoying this, but I have to read only about 10 pages every night. I sometimes go as high as 12 or 13, but mostly it's about 10 pages. And uh, I, I have it planned that I should finish it um, by the end of this week, but um, or the end, you know, by the end of next weekend, actually. So I, I really am enjoying this. Again, this is all um, stories or, well, not stories. These are narratives of people who lived... Um, close to Chernobyl or were somehow involved with cleanups or live there close by now in their stories and it's just really heartbreaking and emotional I just it's a, a really really good book um, I'm also listening in my car to Sapiens a brief history of mankind by um, Yuval Noah Harari and um, I forgot to mention this last week so if you saw that oops because this is my car so I never think about it so anyway um, I'm about I'm a little over um, two thirds done, so I gotta make sure I listen to the rest of this this week because um, it's due next weekend. So to the library, um, I'm really enjoying this. Um, again, it's fascinating. Um, the the just the things he brings up. Um, my biggest thing is the whole thing about you know how morals and ideas and and um, laws and things are all things that are are human constructs that we made up in our heads pretty much and uh it's just it's a interesting way of looking at things i mean there's a lot of other stuff but that to me has still been most fascinating so anyway i'm really enjoying that audiobook as well it's, it's really good and then i picked up we by um yevgeny yamity i think is how his name is said um but anyway this is a russian um author who um i guess this was translated by natasha randall um, um just about 10 years ago so um but again this uh is the one of the first dystopian novels or technically i think is the first um modern one from um the the 20th century so um i read brave new world uh last june and then i have 1984 which by george orwell which i've been meaning to read forever so I wanted to read We as well, so I got this, and um, I'm start I just started it this morning, so I haven't got very far. I'm about 20 pages in. I'm not sure this is a book I want to read straight out. It's broken up into like 40 reports or 40 days or whatever or something. So I might like do some sections every day, kind of like how I did with Chernobyl Prayer. I don't usually do that with books, but some of these are a little harder. My mind is melting. I don't know. But I know it's a, you know, it's again, it's about a dystopian world um, in the future, which is controlled pretty much by the one state. And uh, it's kind of, or it's already very, a couple little things already interesting on how they have certain days that can do certain things, like not to be gross or anything, or to anybody who, I don't know, not gross. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but they have sex days. I guess they have days that they're programmed. They can have sex that day. It just sounds funny. Anyway, again, I'm not very far, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. And then, um, what I plan to read after that or in the middle with that stuff is a book that I put on my, one of my, uh, 10, 10 reads. I want uh, fiction reads that I want to do this year that are books that are on my shelf that I, I want to read that I haven't, uh, picked up. And I got the most comments on it, and I guess I need to do that. So I need to read The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Safon. And I, again, I have had this book on my shelf for um, quite a long time. It's, it's got at least five years, more, probably more. Uh, my aunt uh, gave the book to me, so <laughs> um, told me to read it, and I have not done it. So I'm hoping to get to this um, this week. Um, what I understand is that a boy um, picked, picks a book that's his book and that somehow he's supposed to follow it or, or um, watch over it or something and then something's happening and the books are disappearing. So I don't know what I love about it. I know it's in Barcelona, Spain, so that'll be cool. Something different. And um, I don't actually know. Is this, you know how you just, I just realized that I don't know if this is... Translated by uh, Lucia Graves. Sorry, I knew that it was probably... Anyway, anyway. 
much. We're going to get to that. So um, anyway, what are you guys reading? Have you guys read any of these things? Hey, uh, let me know and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.